Welcome everybody. This is Kim Evans. Welcome to Inspired Conversations with Kim. And I am so excited to bring to you a master guru trainer, my next guest. OMG. I y'all y'all I, I just ooh, 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 I'm so excited. But before I do, Ibrahim, thank you so much for being on my show and saying yes to be my guest. You're welcome. Happy to be here. I always like to open up with a uh, a quick prayer. I hope that's okay with you. That's totally fine, yep. yes. Okay. Everyone, thank you so much, dear God. Thank you, creator. I want to invite you in. God, I want you to invite, invite you into this podcast because it's because of you for being omnipotent and being God and being glorious. And we just thank you. We thank you, Creator, for your strength, for being who you are, God. We want to thank this vessel. We want to thank Ibrahim for being a guest today and you allowing him to say yes and be a faithful servant and to share his expertise with us. And God, thank you so much for podcast listeners. As far as the East, the West, the North, the South, thank you so much. And may this words of wisdom land on undeath ears. And God, thank you so much for giving me this gift, the voice, because without you, it would not be me. So welcome, Ibrahim, welcome. Now, you know, I got to read a little bit about you. You know, Ibrahim actually specialized in strength, mobility, and performance training. And I am so excited because I have had the opportunity to train with him, but I will get a little bit into my testimony with him a little bit later. But Ibrahim, you do so much. I really didn't have to do your bio because you just you just amazing. You look at your physical ability. You speak for yourself. So hey, take Thank it you. away. Tell us what you do and tell us about your business. Well, uh, well, that's a broad question. But Kim, to uh, first, thanks for inviting me. For you know, inviting me to your podcast. I appreciate it. Um, I'm a personal trainer. And um, I specialize in corrective exercise, meaning, I mean, I do everything. I do strength training. I do a lot of core training, a lot of mobility training and some massages, you know, stretching um, on the massage table for tension release and dry massages. But uh, I love working with people with pain and try to help them figure it out and get in shape and get in shape around their lack of mobility or pain. So that's why I specialize specifically in corrective exercise. I love that. I love that about you, Ibrahim. And I love your mission is to help people reach their full physical potential at any age. Tell us a little bit more about that. When people come to you, they might feel a little bit frightened because maybe they haven't started physical fitness training or they haven't started working with a mobility a specialist like yourself. So tell us a little bit how you help people to get started when they come to you. Well, yeah, it first start with a good assessment, meaning you have to, you have to be able to assess the person and, and know what they need, you know, if they trust you to, to figure it out for them. Some people already know what they want, but, okay. but if someone wants to get in shape and they don't know where to start, for example, you have to start with a good assessment right. and figure out their weaknesses, their, you know, because say, let's take a squat, for example. Okay. If you can't do a squat, there is a reason why and some can be lack of mobility range of motion and sometimes you just don't know how to so basically teaching someone how to do something properly and sometimes figuring out why they can't do it and basing their program around a mobility program to teach them how to do the exercises correctly and then and then start the process of getting them stronger helping them be better you know so there's just a process of assessing them and then taking it from there basically so let me ask you when you're doing fitness training and say you want to do weight loss which one comes first the weight loss or the fitness training well for me from with someone with my background we prioritize 
first good movement, right? So you have to move well first. That's what comes first when it comes to exercising at the gym. So correct movement comes from good assessment and then knowing good forms, knowing how the body moves. Bio, um, the term for it is bio. It's, it's slipped my mind, but it'll come back to me. But basically how your body is supposed Biomechanics. to... Biomechanics. Very biomechanics, biomechanics, basically. So, yeah. thank you. So, you have we must have a good training. Uh, <laughs> and so that's the thing I love about you because you specialize in biomechanics, and yeah, it's like so when we're it, training, it's like, whoa, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're gonna have an injury if your body is tilted a certain way. Hey, so, biomechanics is important, and um, the way your body's supposed to move, and you know, it starts there with moving correctly. And then increasing, starting to use load weights and then increasing, you know, the load over time, you know, a progressive overload program, basically. I think that's really important point because people think it's just supposed to be magical. This is like, hey, you know, I want to lose 10 pounds or, you know, I want to do squats better. I want to build my core or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And all of a sudden it's like they think that they could just that you can just just go like this with a magic wand and mm-hmm. fix them the way that they want. And they have to understand they're coming to you because they have years of issues and conditions that's already been yeah. built up. And you have to build you have to break that down and to say now we have to rebuild your body. And it's a yes. mind body mindset. Fitness training yes. is a mindset, and it takes an excellent expert like yourself to help people understand that. Yeah, your movement capacity, basically, your ability to move determines how fast you get in shape and how, you know, how much yeah. you can do. That's, that's, and your, bo- your body gets deconditioned, your well, joints, like- everything gets out of shape. So it's a process of starting from where, where you are, basically. So let's t- take us back a little bit, um, Ibrahim, when you first got started, because you have credentials. Can you share a little bit about your credentials? Because when someone is selecting a personal trainer, they want to make sure that they have full credentials, you know, that they're qualified. Share with us a little bit about your credentials. Um, well, my first, my first certification is from, most of my certs are from the National Academy of Sport Medicine, but the first one was just a certified personal trainer. Okay. Then I got a corrective exercise certification, special specification, mm-hmm. specialization, and then a um, performance enhancement for those who are already in shape and want to get in better shape. And then I have a TRX certification and a Olympic lifting certification, basically. So yeah, the strength training. Wait a second. Don't be too short on that one because <laughs> if I remember correctly, you actually are ex bodybuilder and you had shown yeah. me those beautiful photos. So was that kind of sort of your precursor to going before? To yeah, when I first joined share a little gym. bit about that. That's huge. Come on, you come from bodybuilding. Yeah, when I first joined the gym, like oh, most guys, it's more mostly about building muscles and becoming a bodybuilder. But you know. I, after suffering a few injuries and understanding how dangerous the gym can be yes. and how many injuries can happen in and outside of the gym and that the body needs to re- to recover that's why i specialized more in the sport medicine aspect of it i love that i love it then after that you did a little work with 24 hour fitness because that's where we met so yeah, along, uh, tell us a little bit about a journey with that because that's what well, you're mostly known for that's being where i work. got started definitely mm-hmm. as a personal trainer that's where i learned got most all of my experience as a trainer yeah and um yeah that's where i met most of my clients if not those who were referred to me after or who I met afterwards but they got me started and you know I think every trainer should have that experience from working in a gym environment and you know learning from the, the basics so what I love that we've been able to elevate from 24 hour fitness and now you have your own gym so tell us about that transformation that transition uh when you were at 24 and now you're you're on your own own basically we have those conversations it's like hey 
Yeah, you ready? You were, you, were, you were there the whole time, so you know. <laughs> it just takes definitely a big, a big mindset change. Start, you think like an employee when you work at a gym, mm -hmm. which, you know, or when you have a job. But then you have to start thinking like, an, you know, like an entrepreneur, being by yourself and being proactive and, you know, creating your own business. But I feel like all of that I've learned working in a gym setting, basically. So when I, when I left that setting, I was ready. I knew how to, how to talk to clients. I knew how to train. You know, I knew how to build a program. I knew how to... Uh, just just all of it all the aspect to run a business basically and 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 you need all of it i mean you need, you need all of it. the credential aspect the experience aspect and assure the results you're getting from your clients correct and, yeah but more importantly business. you need to know how to run it as a business as a business yes well and definitely and and as a even though you work in a gym you are still an independent you, you're still you know you're it's your own business you still have to talk to uh, uh gym members try to create your own business try to get more clients every time and that that rigorous routine of like every month trying to make budget and talk to people and have a uh, you know like a goal for yourself absolutely goals, all of that helps you when you become an entrepreneur basically so let me ask you now that you're on your own are you are you more more happier how do you feel i'm definitely on happier more fulfilled mm -hmm. and and closer to my clients as well but absolutely. yeah I, I would definitely would not trade it for anything i mean okay. i don't know <laughs> but it, i'm more <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, you know, clients are going to ask, do you do home visits? So I know you have some really key clients that you do service in Lafayette area. So yeah. would you do more um, personalized home training um, if you were invited to do that? Are you open for that or are you just? Most definitely. Yeah, I, I'm open to it. I have a few clients who have been with me for years who I do home visits for since COVID-19. But uh, yeah, I am open. I, I like that, actually. But okay. those are, we, I already have a relationship with them. So they got me warmed up to it for sure. Yeah, I'm open to it. Yeah. Excellent. So I want to ask you, when you look back at your uh, fitness training experience, what has been your most defining moment? When you look back, which, which, which part of, of this journey has been the most impactful thus far for you? Hmm. It's hard to choose, but <laughs> for me, I, okay, it's, it, it may, it, it's, it's just something, a story that I keep remembering, and it's just about keeping it to the basics, basically. A, a veteran trainer, when I was a new trainer, okay. trying to impress my client, a new client, I was doing too much, making them do stuff that they obviously couldn't do. And then this veteran trainer afterwards pulled me aside and said, basics, you know, start with the basics and make sure your clients can do the simple stuff before you can make them do the." And that stuck with me. And that became my, basically my training principles, basically, not skipping any steps along the way, starting from the basics and then yeah, sticking to the basics. I think that was the most powerful, at least, advice I've got I had as a trainer. Mm. But working for myself is definitely the most impactful, impactful career transformation or change that I've gone through. Love it! I love it. So I want to get to how I actually met Ibrahim. I was with Twenty Four Hour Fitness, and my fitness journey actually, um, I've worked with. A fitness trainer years, years, years ago. Um, he was one of the guests uh, on on one of my prior uh, podcasts. Ruben Vaughn was my very, very first personal trainer who introduced me into fitness training. And I've been turned out like a research monkey ever since. So long story short, I actually was going to a gym in Walnut Creek and then I couldn't no longer go for a minute. And then I got back into the gym a couple of years ago and I started coming to 24, for 24 hour fitness. And then there I saw Ibrahim. And I saw all these fitness trainers that are there. And I like lady fitness trainers. I have no problem with it. 
but they had very few there. They had more men, but it was something about Ibrahim that I really liked. I liked his style. I liked the way that he handled his professionalism. He was very smart. He was very sweet. We all love his accent and he good looking on the eyes and he just practiced what he actually professed. And I love that about him. And I remember Ibrahim, cause I went over and asked you some questions. You know, I interviewed you out before I chose you. <laughs> <laughs> and we did our first six sessions, right? It was six. It was an introduction session yeah. when I first yeah. started. That's true. And I was so amazing. I was so hooked. But one of the things I will say with Ibrahim, he does build you. He takes you step by step and he doesn't make you do more than what you need to do. And as long as you're communicating to him, if you're in pain at that moment, he listens and then he'll redirect or he redesigns another exercise for you. So kudos to you, Ibrahim. You have helped to keep two gorgeous <laughs> looking too gorgeous. We are getting ready to go into <laughs> our Bruce double Bay. nickels in July. So, you know, we got to be the bomb.com. But what I want to say, Ibrahim, is that when someone comes to you, they really need to be clear what they want to work on. Because when we first started, it was like, Ibrahim, I want to work on my weight loss because my doctor said that I needed to be at a member. I wanted, I needed to be at a certain level. So we are working on that. Then the second time I came back, we were working on core strength. Yeah. In another series. And then at your new gym, we came back and I'm like, I don't need to work on the weight loss anymore, Ibrahim. Take me up to the next step of contouring. So tell us a little bit about that, um, just real quickly, that it is important that people need to have a clear mindset of what they want when they start working with you. If you can just yeah. share a little bit about that. Oh, yeah. Well, without clear goals, you will not have, you know, clear results, basically. Yeah. You know, if your goals are all over the place, your results will be, or you have no results, basically. You have to stay focused. Yes. and committed to 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 one goal at a time it's sometimes it can be say someone can say they can they want to lose weight but they can build up you know they can have sometimes Mixed two methods. goals two yeah. goals that are conflicting basically yeah. so you have to pursue one and then one at a time the, uh, right and I love so, that because you help us to really be more clear to say no we're going to focus on this one goal and when we get to the when we complete this one goal then we're going to get to the next goal and I yeah. think that's really the focal point of a good expert fitness trainer. yeah adaptation is what you're looking for so it. you it's hard to have two different adaptations at a time if it, it could be possible but it's much easier to to like train for something and get those adaptations whether it's weight loss or whether it's growing a certain body part or whether it's you know you can build your abs while losing weight those go together but sometimes right don't we know that with a plank pose <laughs> exactly. Ibrahim that you get me on the plank pose yeah that's right <laughs> you want to grow uh, somewhere and want to lose weight at the same time and that could definitely conflict <laughs> and I gotta interject this man and this is really good because we think that working the obliques and things like that that we always have to be doing sit-ups and what I loved about you is like no you're kind of like massage therapist alternative integrative approach you know we look at new kinds of ways that we can do exercises and one of those ways that you could build your stomach muscles is doing planks you don't it is not always the sit-ups because what it's if I about have just the injury? activation yeah you want to act, make sure you're activating the muscles while you're doing it you yeah. can do a lot of sit-ups without activating your core you could be using your back your spine you could be you know make um compensating see that's, what I'm, that, that's really easy to do if you have tight muscles Absolutely. And I think the last time I came in, I had an injury being a massage therapist. I had piriformis. And so for a minute, remember, we couldn't do the weight bearing exercises because I yeah. just couldn't do it anyway. Yeah. So we ha you had to create another pattern for me, another whole regiment because we couldn't do heavy weights. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. Sometimes getting in shape is just focusing on being more flexible and more mobile, just allowing your body time to to be more limber so you can move better and be able to handle weights pain-free basically absolutely it's a so, process 
So I want to get in just real quickly, Ibrahim, about the services that you offer, one-on-one personal training, couples training, live stream training, online coaching, mobile training, diet consultation, and stretching and sports massage. Out of these that you offer, which one is your most favorite that you find most enjoyable that you offer to your clients? Mm, that's so hard to pick, but all I know is I can figure out people, figure out how people can avoid pain, usually with when it comes to back pain and shoulder pains, for example, like upper thoracic, getting some mobility there, getting some mobility in the hips, in the back, so you can move better. I think when I help people figure out those limitations and how to work through and Oh, out and away from them. That's what I like the most. That's beautiful. And and it sounds like you can kind of reach those goals with all these services that you offer. I want to skip to your live stream because that's basically what you're doing more now about. So tell us a little bit about your live stream workouts, Ibrahim, and how people can, you know, be a part well, of that. It's um, I'm not live streaming it to the public. I just have virtual clients, a few virtual yeah. clients. They're super, you know, they're they're really happy with what we're doing. Um, I have one of them after our after okay. this session here. Okay. But yeah, they're super sa- happy. I personally didn't think I would be a good online coach. I kept telling you you would. Pre-COVID, you but, it. you know, I, I've fallen in love with that too. So I'm... Okay. My goal is to build that uh, my online presence and online clientele in 2021. So that's well, my yeah. I look forward to helping you to do that and uh, thank you, thank promoting you, as much as I can because you know I'm virtual queen Appreciate and that's where we're going towards that. Uh, do yeah. you want to mention your last project that you have coming down the pike with your invention, or you want to save? Oh yeah, I mean I'll mention a little bit about it. It's a uh, I yeah I invented a little uh, fitness device is for a for legs that I can't say too much about it okay. but it's um you know I've shown you the concept and you know more than most but it's for squatting and deadlifting and just it just facilitates certain movements of the legs of the lower extremity when you use it basically it's awesome, you guys. I had a sneak yeah. peek. It's gonna be amazing. And I'm happy, I'm happy to know you because when you are mm-hmm. on um what's one of those shows, I'm gonna be like, Yeah, I know him. I I, I worked out with him <laughs> when you're on the cover right, before. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, before yeah. <laughs> so before we close out, Ibrahim, I'm really excited to uh, mention how do you keep your kids? You have two sons. How do you yeah. keep them physically fit? Because, you know, a lot of parents as we're going to COVID probably want to know what is maybe a couple of tips you can share on um, helping your children stay physically fit and to exercise. Well, uh, it's tough, but, you know, you just have to have uh, accessories for them like bicycles and, you know, take them out hiking and spend that kind of time with them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I go hiking usually on the weekends when I have my uh, son. Okay. And uh, we go hiking, go walking. Go. We, we we figured it out. It's 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 pretty tough right now, but you know accessories like bikes and it. you know yeah basketballs, and we play soccer. Okay. We go to the park. Yeah, just you know we we do what we can. <laughs> I love it. And and you're doing that because I I see you on Instagram and on Facebook with your kids. And it's nice that you are incorporating the whole wellness, fitness and everything, what you do with your clients as well as. Yeah, that's the lifestyle for me. You know, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. So, um, so Ibrahim, as we wrap up women, let's talk about women, 40s, 50s and beyond. Should we continue uh, using fitness trainers for how long? I mean, I think I know the I answer. Mean, that, but, you know, yeah. um, just recently I heard about the justice that, that passed away, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She had a trainer up until she passed away. Her trainer was in, you know, was paying her respect during her, okay. when she was uh, being whatever, when she was being, um, when she was in the Capitol. You need that. You need to, uh, basically, you need the motivation. You need the accountability you need the expertise. I mean, it's a shortcut. It's a shortcut to your goals, basically. It's being, you know, like it, it's, it's the highway to your goals. Thank you. Highway to hell. 
And I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that, Ibrahim, because fitness training is an investment and actually it's yeah. the best investment that you can make uh, for your total well-being, right? Your, your health is all you got. Your health is your wealth. Your wealth is your health. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, so what's your next, Ibrahim? What's your next as we wrap it up? What is the next goal that you're going to, what do you want to work on next being that you're now successful with your personal gym that you have? You got your invention that's coming out. What's next? Well, what's next is just is seeing the launch of my invention, you know, okay. successful launch. Again, I want to develop that online presence, like I told you. I want okay. to build up online uh, virtual clientele. And those are my two main goals um, for this year. But in the future, hmm, it, my, my, my future goals definitely depend on my 2021 goals so okay, okay. i'll just give it to that <laughs> fair enough fair enough yeah. uh fair any questions you would like to ask me before we close out um yes kim i mean i, I don't know if i have a question or i'd have a statement i, I just want to say i'm happy to be here and i'm really proud of you about the, your podcast and your show and I know that you you were one of the first persons to influence and push me to work for myself, right? And I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, keep uh, doing what you're doing too. Well, keep, thank you very uh, keep much. Keep pushing us and pushing <laughs> yes. <the show> forward. <laughs> totally, totally. And thank you, Ibrahim, for being such a beautiful blessing and soul and being in my life and to help to keep me whole and keep me fit. And I look forward for our next collaboration on my next journey as I turn double nickels in July. Yep. And we just get really. better and better and better. So it's Do just it. good to have awesome people in your wellness temple. And I um, admire you and you're part of my wellness temple. So thank oh, you. Oh, thank you, Kim. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> so um, I like to always ask a couple of questions before I end. Can you fill in the blank? When you're off, I like to eat what? Wow, Kim, that's uh, <laughs> JoJo's. Go ahead on, just say it. I mean, we know. <laughs> this, this, we're not looking for the whole healthy thing. Just I'm, the first I'm, thing that you like. Right, let me, let, let me tell you what JoJo's are. JoJo's are gluten-free Oreo cookies from Trader Joe's. <laughs> hey, did you guys get that? I'm going to go get some because I love some Oreo cookies. It's one of my favorite yeah. cookies. Yeah, those are pretty good. And so what's your favorite pastime? When I'm off, I like to. My favorite pastime um, is to be home, um, turn my phone off, and stretch. <laughs> and wow, relax. really? Yeah. yeah, and just chill. And yeah, just that time for myself. I love it. You know, I got and an I, idea for yeah, you. I, I meditate that way too. Okay, so you stretch and you meditate. So do you have a virtual class that you could show us how to stretch and meditate, Ibrahim? You know, I've been recording some videos, Kim. That's coming too. <laughs> okay, so will yeah, you let me know when they're ready? Yeah. I'm putting together some stretching, some uh, mobility programs that speak specifically to today's lifestyle of sitting and, you know, that can help with people, just overall health and mobility. I love it. Ibrahim, it has been such a pleasure. I'm going to list your website, uh, actually, in the information. How else can people get in contact with you if they'd like to start training with you or have some questions or to get on your virtual courses? What kind of uh, information would you like to leave? The I'm very hard to reach, Kim. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyway, so, <laughs> I, I mean, just my phone number okay. my, is, and my email address, they're both on my, in my, on my website. Okay. And uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here in Pleasant Hill. You can reach me through Kim and uh, through my website and, you know, I'm sure you said you'll have the link up. Oh, and one last thing, your um, IG handle. My IG handle is EBs. It's I B two I and a Z. Okay. I B I I Z. EBs. Love it. Love it. 
Thank you very much, Ibrahim, for being my guest. Thank you, podcast viewers, for listening. And thank you, viewers, for watching. You're this welcome. is Kim Evans with Ibrahim. And thank you for watching Inspire Conversations with Kim.